Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to SideQuest and welcome back to the big castle. We're going to explore it some more. And I think a fight's coming up. At least a small one. There's a summon sign upstairs and a kind of opponent that I've not seen before that I recall. A little intimidating. We'll see though. I changed back to my old kit. Uh, just because, honestly. Felt like it. And also, there's better fire defense on this armor set than on the uh, knight armor set. And I feel like fire is going to be a recurring theme in here, damage wise. Boy. That said, I may go back to the uh, hammer, depending on how. Depending on how some of these fights go. I do like this thing, though. I see you. No. There we go. And the hammer really is doing almost as much damage per swing. Eh, not always, but a lot of the time. As this big colossal sword, which is really saying something. Who is this? Be summoned to assist Horn Scent. Oh, that is different. I have a suspicion I know why you need... Oh, and be summoned to assist Needle Knight Leda. Yeah, we're not... We're not doing that. No. Just because you decided to go all Inquisition on me doesn't mean I have to follow suit. Worthy Hornsen, I will dispose of you before your thirst for revenge beckons on me. I can no longer trust you. In the end, I knew this day would come. The nature of your kind, I am certain, will always show itself. Give you time. Interfere not with my business. Sarah, what could your purpose possibly be? I do not recollect begging for help. Have you been taken in by the plight of the Hornsen? Foolish, but hardly unexpected. Man is a compassionate animal. Yeah, okay. Hey, Hornsen, maybe get out of the corner, huh? Last chance. You have bested me. A single betrayal. Enough to turn the tide. You started it. But I will leave you be. For now. Do not interfere. This is my revenge. You're welcome. Well, good. Ash of War, Swift Slash. And let us ruin. Neat. I feel good about our decision here. Blessing of Needle Knight Leda. An unalloyed light that has never dwelled in an eye. Mikola gifted Leda with gentle gold to bring a soft hue to her faded eyes. Interesting. Okay. You're right, we can read later. You are... Different. I see. Into the fire, are we? Are you the Fire Knights? I saw Fire Knights referenced ages ago. And I assumed that was just the name for everyone in the army, but no. I think you might actually be... Fire Knight. Cool.
cool looking though. What was I saying before? We were reading something. Yeah, so like, cool art, one, with a little like Mikola Halic tree symbol in it. It's really cool. Um, the light in the eyes is something that like, we tarnished were blessed with. The thing that drew us back to the lands between was when the like light of grace filled our eyes and we could like see it. Uh, we could see grace and great like follow grace here. Or well, to the lands between, not here, but you know. So it seems like Mikola kind of blessed Leto with a similar thing. And I don't really know how much that grace sight thing is a compulsion in and of itself. Or if it's just kind of giving purpose. Or giving a blessing, allowing you to see guidance, which you can then choose to follow or not. I don't know. Can't really remember if that's ever specified. She's definitely finding purpose in whatever Mikkel is giving, though. For better or worse. Glad we've been given the opportunity to try to make sure the horn scent is okay, at the very least. There's nothing else back here that I need to do first, right? There's nothing I saw, but... Well, let's keep going. Anyone around? Hello? Freya, where are you hanging out? Goodness. Specimen storehouse. Whoa. That's so big. What even is it? I'm gonna have to study this more. It looks horse-like. It looks like a giant torrent, actually. With way, way, way more horns. Oh, this place is taller than I realized. Whoa. Wow, this place is wild. Ah, nope. Excuse me. You don't just attack someone in a museum. What's the matter with you? Hey, do you work here? Those little guys are attacking people. Hey! Oh, that's kind of neat. Don't do that. There's books in here. What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, these are tablets. You're right. Probably not gonna start any fires accidentally hitting these my mistake continue as you were i guess eh come on fine it does look a lot like a giant horse kind of I don't know if that's quite what a horse skull looks like well the front looks a bit more goat like I think I guess I haven't looked at a horse skull in a while feel free to correct me in comments fans of horse skulls your time has come You 
been preparing your whole lives for this. God knows why. Militia, please. Stop it. Excuse me. Is that fire coming from you? Thought it was coming from higher up. I think it was you. Wait. Might have been higher up also. Stop. Boy, what a cool place. There wasn't a door down here, was there? No, no, it looks like a bookcase that can be moved. A shortcut to be created. I see. Yep. Nope. Meh. Stop being so jerks. You guys just continue your reading. Don't mind me. Finally, some people who know how to act proper in a museum or library. Maybe this is the gift shop. Finally, some people who know how to mind their own business in a museum library. Get out of here. I need my light. I will not have them hiding cool things from me in dark corners. Unacceptable. That looked like a knight, and this looks like a climbable little array of things. Maybe I should... Yeah. Should deal with you first. Daggers. So you lot have different weapons. I see. Not too bad, though. At least just fighting one of you. As soon as I have to deal with two or three of you, then that'll get a little bit more messy. Yep. Come on. Ugh. So close. Ah, come on. Still no. Where else can we head? Oh, I guess there's more stairs up. Yoo-hoo. Hello, you two? Nope. Come on, guys. Mind your own business. It's healthier. Who else am I hearing? Well, you guys do like your fire. There we go. Beautiful. I'm really loving how much more 
explicitly, well, maybe not more explicitly isn't the way to say it, just how explicitly From is leaning into the narrative of, like, conquest and empire here. Even to the extent of having built a keep containing, like, a museum, like... It feels familiar to me in that sort of, like, British museums having lots of stuff from other lands that were conquered back in the old colonial days that have not yet been returned. Like, it's it's obviously being done in the occupied land. But still, kind of has that feel a little bit. I imagine the horn scent and the people who live here are not thrilled about all of this sort of stuff being in here on display in a big library museum thing. Why am I putting up with this ranged attack nonsense? I have spells. Knock it off! Twofer, that felt pretty good. Especially after completely failing to frisbee the first time. Gotcha, there we go, see? Making this more difficult than it needed to. Now we can try some jumping. Yep. Probably didn't need to jump around here to try to get up to that thing, but whatever. Anywhere else I can reach now that I am here. Doesn't really look like it. Maybe I couldn't jump up onto this part from down there. That, that actually might be the case. I think it is. There we go. Not sure how much more respectful it is to go around running and jumping on all of the ancient remains, but here we are. Nice. How on earth would we get that one? Maybe we can, like, knock it down. Back up the stairs. Excuse me, well-behaved ghosts. Hang on. Didn't see this earlier. Where's the sneak attack? Where is it? Oh. Hi. Hello. So, before I talk to you, um, hmm. So, uh, somebody tipped me off in comments, I think. It was a little bit ago. Someone tipped me off that I think it is in this area. There are a couple of NPCs. I think so. They've mentioned like a in the keep in like a tall place. There are two NPCs around here, and uh, apparently their quest overlap dialogue stuff is kind of fiddly, where it's better to talk to the second one first or something. It was. It sounded like a whole complicated thing, and uh, in order, at least in order to hear all of their dialogue, um, I'm definitely gonna break some of it. Like, I'm not going to follow a guide on this, but uh, 
I feel like I got the impression that it is better to look for the one, the second NPC who's further up, and talk to them first. So, Ansbach, you wait. We may still break things. And maybe Ansbach is the second NPC, actually. Maybe I just missed someone on the way up, but I kind of doubt it. It's a big spot. Do we go further up now? Are we done with all this down here? Now well, we got two options for stairs. And we can also maybe jump down here, which might... Maybe from this side we can... Hmm. There is a shiny down there. This is the room, like, this is on the other side of that bookcase kind of blocking the path further below. I just don't know if I can open it from down there, but... Let's, let's go a little further. Let's hold off for a moment. If we go a little higher up and we don't see anything that suggests another way to come down here and open that up, then we'll just jump down. Yoo-hoo. Anyone? That looks like a door. And it can wait. Oh, I was gonna... Nothing. Really glad y'all don't have a great way to deal with my guard counters. I guess all the fire works pretty well for you. That does sort of chip away at me. Not fast enough, though. You gonna be cool? Nope. Don't know why I keep thinking one of you is going to be cool. You've not given me a lot of reason. Just trying to give you all chances. I haven't gone this way yet. Nope. I'm just gonna cut you off right there. None of that, please. I'm glad you don't have a lot of poise. Makes you a lot easier for my build to deal with. Perfect. Whoa. Okay. Hi. Do you mind? Startled me. Hmm. Just keep reading. How hard is it to just keep reading? It's so much better for you. Oh, I haven't gone this way yet. Um. Please reconsider. Well, actually, it's too late. Please think upon your bad decisions. Hmm. There is a shiny up there that I do kind of want. Assuming I can reach it. Come on, man. The bravery. On these little dorks. 
fool courage. I do not trust that all of you are going to keep reading. Nope. And that's why. Stop. Surprise. Usually y'all are so good at hearing. Dunzo. Ooh, a Fire Knight short sword. Neat. That's something I want to read about. A short sword used by the Fire Knights. A slender blade that undulates like fire. Blessed with a flame incantation, further flame imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Neat. Kind of a dexterity faith weapon, sort of, it looks like. And cool, there's too few of those. I feel like I've seen a lot more of them just here in the DLC, which is nice. I know there's still the door, but I feel like it might be time to do a little climbing. Very carefully. I didn't get that shiny down there, though. Hmm. Jumps? Ooh, yes. Yes, please. Lots of yes, please. Another of those, thank you. Storehouse cross message. Message left by Sir Ansbach, addressed to kindred spirits who also pursue Mikola's trail. It would seem that the people of the keep have flooded the holy quarter that leads onward to the shadow tree, barring access. However, there is no route that leads here from this storehouse. Perhaps there's another way to reach the holy quarter from somewhere else in this keep. Hmm... Carved words coalesce. I abandon here my arm dextral. I am kind of tempted to... look up how some of these quests work. Just since it sounds like they're fiddly. Like... Granted, missing and failing a variety of NPC side quests along the way is kind of the expected way for any Souls playthrough to go. There are some that are more obvious, that are pretty easy to see and do, and others that are much trickier, that you kind of have to explore and figure out and problem solve. Some of which are, like, very hard to find and succeed at. Wish there was a good way to look it up without getting spoiled on things. We can wander a bit and see if I can at least find another character around here. Because if, if I can find another NPC tootling about in this tall... Bleh. Not now, bats. If I can find another NPC hanging around then that will kind of further confirm for me that this is at least the area that uh, was being hinted at. How am I doing on... I'm good. Yeah, I just rested, that's right. Getting pretty high up, though. Oh my. Hi. That's a new trick. That one. Nifty. 
Now that I'm close, you're in a lot more trouble. Scary sword move, though. Let's take you out quick. You are making me nervous. There we go. Yeah, you're a bit more threatening. And I... I should go back and actually get a level. I just realized I have a lot of runes on me. Now this should be enough arcane. Well, is it? I think it is. This should be enough arcane, I think, for me to wield this sword. Without needing this headwear. Double check. Yeah, awesome. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Is there more up here that I didn't check out yet? Seems like there must be. Maybe I've just not figured out how to get there yet. Let's go a little further forward. Fight this clown again. Hello, hello. You acted like you didn't want me to come up here and see you. A little hostile. Bye. wasn't anything else up here, right? I was a bit distracted. And there's so much further up to go. What a very vertical castle keep. I like it. We got bats. There were stairs down back there, there's an entrance here, there's a very unfortunate bat, and two other... Well, two other bats that are really not unfortunate, they chose this. One unfortunate bat, two bats with bad judgment. I sense goodies. Hmm. Whoop. Hello. I imagine these knights are probably a pretty big challenge depending on what your build is. I feel like my build is shutting them down a little bit, at least so far. I could see them being a problem for others. I found a fight though. Boy, I can already tell I've missed a lot of stuff on the way up. Hello. I was getting to you. Wait your turn. I hear somebody. Hey, somebody hold that thought. Now, now, Freya. 
Don't let it rile you up. Take it slow. Take it slow. Freya! By my lord. I ever make sense of this jumble. Freya? Did you? Did you steal their armor? No, nope. you're not Freya. Whew. Yeah, if you guys do get hits in when I'm not blocking, it do hurt. Don't buff those guys. Oh, you healed. Oh, that's the worst. Stop. You suck. Oh boy, watch it. Yeah, they definitely hurt if they get those slashes in. So my build is definitely helping. Someone's definitely having a hard time in the library. Freya? Where are you? Spirit Calculus. An exceedingly rare to find calculus suffused with spirituality. Found by hunting horned beasts in the ancient ruins of Rao. Has a distinctive acrid odor, which some claim to be a sign of particular spiritual potency. Huh. Freya? Hey! Where are you? Are you on the floor below or above or somewhere else? Freya? Hang on. There are definitely several branches to this place that I have missed along the way, or seen and decided I'd go back to later that I have not yet gone back to later. Haven't even been over here yet. Thought I had. Not giving you a chance to be a problem, thank you. You either. You're the worst. Is this just the other way? There was a ramp down that I ran past here. It's so much to hold in your head. Now there's a shiny. Secret Rite Scroll. A scroll made of white tree bark. Few can decipher the scroll which describes the secret rite of the Divine Gateway, said to be found at the tower enshrouded by shadow. A lord will usher in a god's return, and the lord's soul will require a vessel. This seems important. This seems very important. I'm guessing Freya was a little further up. What are y'all looking at? Me now, obviously, but... Ooh, another. Thank you. 
I'm guessing Freya was a floor further up than I was before. Let's go up some more stairs and see if we can find her. Where's were the stairs? Here we go, and were there some more? Yes. Freya? Are you up here? Why, my lord? Will I ever make sense of this jumble? Ah, oh, we found you. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna, like, follow any sort of guide step-by-step step on this, but I am a little worried about breaking interesting NPC quests in a really unnecessary way. Let me see if I can get a hint real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I have gotten a hint. And I think, I think really the only important thing here was mostly just to be sure to talk to her first before progressing uh, things with Ansbach too far. Because it seems like they've both got stuff to do here or stuff they want here or something. And I think if you maybe do too much of Ansbach's quests, then maybe something about that breaks. Freya's potential, I don't know, whatever, we're here. Let's say hello and try to help. Um, By my lord, will I ever make sense of this jumble? The unfortunate thing, Freya, is that my intelligence stat remains... What is it? Uh, yeah, 13, so... I will not be much help. Oh. Hello. I'm afraid I'm busy. A curse upon my lack of foresight. I should have asked Ansbach to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. About what? I'm afraid I'm busy. Truly. I should have asked Ansbach to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. Oh. Okay. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should go. Say hi to Ansbach as well. At least they're both near Grace Fires, I think. So that's a blessing. Just making sure you don't got anything else to say, right? I'm afraid I'm busy. Okay, truly. just making sure. Okay. Ansbach. Um First floor, fourth floor, seventh. I think I think you're on fourth. Ansbach. You didn't leave, right? I know these quest lines are finicky, but you didn't just like bail on me. Did you? Heck, I might have already broken it somehow. Wait, this this isn't where he was. This is this is the place that uh, had. No, 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 no. This is the place that had some other items. He was not standing here though. We found a note from him up here. He was further down. So, how much further down, though? And seriously, how do you get that? I don't want to, like, break anything. Yeah, let's... Mm. Let's try going down to the first floor. That may be fastest. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go find him. Here's the room where you were, that's right. Down on the first floor, but you gotta run a little ways. So, let's talk finally. Righteous tarnished. It's been some time. After unburdening my soul to you, I had hoped to make a fresh start. 
But there was one thought I could not dislodge from my mind. So, here I am, quite unable to move on. I see. After Lord Moke's slaying at his dynastic palace, it appears his body has been absconded with. Huh. And taken straight to kind Mikola. Huh. Surely you recall that I once served Lord Moog as a pure-blood knight, after failing him in every regard, and losing sight of my vows. I'd do anything to make amends, in whatever meager way I can. Huh. Interesting. I don't think we need to share who necessarily slew Lord Moog. No need to bring that up. What could they possibly have in mind for Lord Moog's remains? The implications are rather... unnerving. As one who was in service to Lord Moog, I feel like your metric for what is and is not unnerving is very skewed, Ansbach. I'm just saying, like, you're serving the Lord of Blood. I don't think you're in the position to get the vapors over your Lord's body being used for something. Anyway, um, Freya is also here. Freya, by the gods. She must be feeling the need to reaffirm her allegiance before she heads to war. A true red main she is. Hardly troubled by the rot, but no one is without their shortcomings. She has a hard road ahead. I see. Um, anything else? Hmm. It does make one think. Perhaps our concerns are but two sides of the same coin. Um, before I hand that over, just to make sure you don't have anything else to say. Hmm. It does make one think. Perhaps our concerns are but two sides of the same coin. I'm being a little extra cautious here now, but before I hand you that, let's actually go and see if talking to you about that brings up anything new in her dialogue. Let's kind of go back and forth a little bit, not moving anything too far until we've heard from both. Also, on the way back, I, uh, or on the way in, rather, I noticed this little path, which I hadn't gone down before, and it has an elevator? Which might open a shortcut. So that's cool. Seems worth doing. Or maybe it just brings us to a whole other place. Hi. Hadn't really expected you. Excuse me. Um, like... I was just thinking this was going to be a quick shortcut to open up and then move on. I already know there's a lot more. Okay. I already know there's a lot more I need to explore in this castle. Stuff I need to backtrack for. Where even is this? Yikes. Super yikes, this is a whole other thing. Wall of sparks, neat. We're, we're exploring this later. I need to end this episode soon. I just want to talk to the... Talk to the NPCs first. Before they run off. We're coming back to this, though. I thought it was a shortcut. Anyway, that's there. Freya! 
Freya, have you new thoughts? I'm afraid I'm busy. Truly. I should have asked Ansbach to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Ansbach! Ansbach, it's very dangerous out there. Glad you're in here just reading. Hmm. It does make one think. Perhaps our concerns are but two sides of the same coin. Right, so I found this thing. You want it? Well, what's this? Yes. Yes, I should have known. Even the truth was itself mere folly. As if using Lord Moog to gain entrance to the Land of Shadow were not enough, he plans to use his corpse as the vessel of his king consort. He has forsaken Lord Moog's soul. He desires only his empty shell. It beggars belief, but I'm afraid Tendermikola fails to grasp the humiliation implied by this act. One thing is certain. My dear lord deserved better. Hmm. Debatable, but also really neat learning how much of learning how much of this and even of what we saw in base game was not Mikola being so much a victim as having a master plan and being taken by Moog and trapped in a cocoon and held in a cocoon by the Lord of Blood down there. It seemed like Mikola was, like, a prisoner of some sort, but uh, it is increasingly seeming like this was Mikola's plan and maybe Moog's obsession with Mikola was something that Mikola compelled to begin with. This is very interesting. Righteous tarnished. You have my gratitude. You have given me the answers I needed, but I can hardly fathom it. Such folly unto the end. I am a warrior, but I've aged. I cannot afford to act hastily. Curse it all. I know my limits. I could spend the rest of my life honing my craft, and still that creature would be out of my blade's reach. I'll get to it eventually. The absolute folly of it all. Well, um... I'll leave you to think on that and, uh... Go check on Freya next, I guess. Freya! You're still here, right? Right? Not going anywhere? I'm afraid I'm busy. Truly. I should have asked Ansbach to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. Do you want me to run a message to him? Because, like, okay. Ansbach? Not entirely sure. Okay, he's still here. Um, I hope you have something new to say. Because Freya does not. Righteous tarnished. Yeah. Could you please give this to Freya? Thanks to you, she too will have the answers she requires. Freya possesses a youth I no longer have. This knowledge will surely stoke the flames of valor within her. Yes. I can see her barreling into the fray right now. Uh, sure. I will deliver. Perhaps I shouldn't meddle in her affairs, but this is the only way I can help. Perhaps I should... Okay, this is the just make it sure. Um, what's that say? Also, okay, now I've had that before. Does this have a different description by now? Golden remnants of the grace bestowed upon those who fell in the realm of shadow. In a long-forgotten place where none would tread, the light of grace quietly grew ever more brilliant. I should check the descriptions of a couple more of those, actually, but first. A letter written by Sir Ansbach to Freya the Redmane. Presumably written in answer to her query, but the page is neatly folded to keep prying eyes from reading it. We'll be polite. But yeah, hang on. Um, broken and faded, threatening to dissipate entirely. 
The shadow tree is the shadow of the Erd tree. No wonder grace shines ever so brilliantly. The soldiers who joined the crusade were rewarded with grace aplenty. Yeah, in a long forgotten place where none would tread, the light of grace quietly grew ever more brilliant. Uh, there's Leda's, and this... Golden remnants of the grace personally bestowed by Queen Merica to the heroes who joined the crusade for her. The brilliance of Queen Merica's grace blinds even the very best. I think that one's old, but... Or, well, we definitely got it a while ago. Whatever. Um... Right, Freya. I have a letter. You're still here, right? I have a thing for I'm you. I'm afraid I'm busy. Truly. I should have asked Anne's back to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. So you've said. Um, here. From Sir Anne's back? To me? What on earth could it... Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Of course. I see. As the festival of war concluded, General Redan's soul met an honourable end, but kindly Mikola wishes to revive it, which is fine by me. I know it would pain old Jeren, but war has always suited General Rudan best, and certainly far more than any honourable death. Endless war to invigorate the soul, as befits General Rudan, the Great Lion. Huh. Mikola, what are you doing? Thank you. Now I finally cast off my misgivings. Give my regards to Honourable Ansbach. Tell him... If we should meet in battle, to face your bow would be fine enough, but to face your blade would be an honor. I'll relay the message. Thank you for that. Um, well, good. All that remains is the fight for our kind Mikola. For or against, we'll figure it out. All that remains. Well, glad you're happy. Um, thanks for the shield. A shield made to resemble a fierce golden lion with a luxuriant mane. Awarded to especially valorous members of Radon's personal guard on the occasion of its formation. Neat. Well, I don't know if Hansbach's still down there, but let's check. Might as well get all this sorted out. In one episode. Perhaps I shouldn't meddle in her affairs, but this is the only way I can help. I remember. Ah, pass on Freya's message. Sure. <laughs> I should have expected as much from Freya. Some things simply never occur to her. Paralyzing fear. True despair. That's Freya through and through. I guess so. Um, That's Freya through and through. So we're done? Guess I should, um... Triple check. <laughs> you know, guys, I didn't volunteer necessarily to be your walkie talk. Okay, you left. Um, cool. So you've moved on. Has Ansbach. And you have also moved on. Excellent. Okay. Okay. We did it. I think. Hooray. Quest scene. Let's go ahead and call it a day. I will see you all next week. We will explore this place a little more thoroughly. It's not like I'm going to get everything and not miss anything, but I definitely know there are a few nooks and crannies that I've not seen yet that I want to. So, have yourselves a good one. Have a good weekend, even. And goodbye!